so oh my goodness I'm still getting used to this live thing I don't even know if I'm doing it right <laughs> But anyways, I'm trying. So I, I look like I've been crying already this morning because I have. And it's because, oh gosh, it's because I am so excited about my upcoming trip. And um, I have so much joy. It doesn't seem like I want to crying, but I do. And so I was getting ready to go to the office and I decided to sneak over to a little quiet room that I have set up in the space and get just a minute with you guys. I, I realize that a lot of you may not be watching right now, but at some point you'll see this video. Tomorrow I leave for Vegas. I'm on my tour, my West Western tour to Denver and I'm truthfully I'm a little nervous because like I don't know I guess I, I feel so much excitement about the tour and the end but I guess there's a part of me that still feels a little overwhelmed by the goal and I kept getting reminded I keep getting reminded by so many of you to that just that just the fact that I'm doing it, you know, is is helping people, and that's really what's most important. It's not the thousand hugs for the thousand hugs. It's the giving people hope and something to look forward to, to meet someone who's been twinless for so long and has been able to find a way to be twinful, despite my twinless moments, and to feel encouraged and loved, which is the whole point, you know. And so I was talking to Joe this morning and we're talking about what we need to do to prep the bus to go and everything that needs to get packed and prepared for us to leave. And so it was like, oh man, this is real. It's really happening. It's really happening. We're really going to leave and we're going to meet so many people. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. So I went through the time yesterday to create a bunch of events on my Twinful Twin page, on this page actually, and um, so that I can get clarity about who's going to be, um, you know, the people can mark themselves as going so that I can know who I'm meeting along the way and um, have an idea to plan. We're going to pack taco stuff for food. We're going to bring, we're going to bring enough to do two separate taco bars. Um, one in Vegas and one in Salt Lake City. So that's going to be awesome. Joe just makes the best, the best tacos ever, ever. Um, and so anyways, I'm, I'm super, super excited, nervous, excited, nervous. It's weird. It just feels weird. I don't want to disappoint anybody. I don't want to let anybody down. I'm not sure how much time I'm going to have when we're on the road. I mean, I know when we're staying someplace, um, I want to be sensitive to everybody and their twin story, um, but I also want to make some fun and loving memories. I don't, I don't want to be so into the grief part that we're not enjoying ourselves. And so it's super important to me that we make this be a live um, uh, and uh, I want to say almost like a life after death of our twin experience. This is our life. This is us uniting in our twin power, uniting in our twin joy and in our love. And despite the fact that our twins have transitioned to heaven, that we are, you know, have an opportunity to rejoice in our twinship and the coolest experience of being around other twins. It's so amazing. I'm sorry I'm emotional, but I can't wait to see everybody. I'm so excited to get to come and meet new twinless twins that didn't make it to the conference who I haven't had a chance to hug yet. It's going to be so amazing. Every single twin that I have hugged has brought me so much joy. And I think it's so stupid that I cry. <laughs> cry about everything. It's so dumb. 
<laughs> but that was also the amazing part about going to the Twinless Twin Conference is so many of us cry about everything. <laughs> so it's like it's part of our twin journey or something. It's awesome. And how connected we are. We are just all so very connected. But the awesome part about it for me is that when people say, you know, there's no connection like with your twin, like there's no other connection like it, like anything else in the world. And what I'm realizing as I go through this journey with everybody is that no, it it, it is real. It it and it is it isn't just with our twin. Yes, that totally set the stage and taught us things that we would never have learned if we you know, had we not had that dynamic, I mean, it was awesome, awesome, awesome to have a twin dynamic and that we got to be in the womb together and we were biochemically written differently than people that didn't get to share their womb with anybody. And um, what's awesome about it is that that we we have this power and this magic within us to be able to bond with with other souls, not just our twin soul. And I think that's the part where we get confused. Like we think we can only feel that with our twin. But my God, you get around another group of twinless twins and you realize, holy crikey, like you get so many twin moments with them. It's amazing. And then, and then, now that you've opened yourself up to it and felt the magic, Every once in a while, you'll come across another soul who's not a twin, was not born a twin, and is able to actually, like you have this like a twin moment with someone and it's like, whoa, that is crazy, crazy. Things like you didn't even think were possible. And so it, I think it really depends how far are you on your journey from twinless to twinful. And you'll find that the further you get, the more you walk, move through your grief into gratitude and the more you allow yourself to embrace your twinship, that suddenly you are able to experience that bond with so many amazing people. Hi, Sissy. Hi, Georgina. Hello, RJ. I see all of you. Thank you for watching me and my crazy emotional, hello, <laughs> my crazy emotional self. I am so like emotional this morning. But anyways, I just, we're getting ready to leave tomorrow. For those of you who are brand new to this journey with me, I'm doing a journey of a thousand healing hugs and it's in honor of Trevor Wager who, who actually took his own life. His twin passed back in the 90s and he took his own life in April and he was such a huge encouragement to me and such a huge love to me and it just broke my heart. So I started this journey of a thousand healing hugs. I live in a Tiffin bus and I'm driving all over the country to meet people. Follow me on the Twinful Twin Tasha page. I post all my events. I post where I'm located. I post my GPS. So while I'm driving, <laughs> I actually post. This is the cool thing about being with an IT guy. Joe is like my manager, my tech guy. He does everything. He puts our GPS on the freaking thing so people can see where we're driving. You want to watch how far I've gone? Just poke up. Uh, Click on the GPS and dee 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 dee. There's this little dot of twinful twin Tasha going across the country. Anyways, I love you guys. I'm excited to leave tomorrow. I have to get to work. I have a meeting in just a few minutes. So I'm going to go to my office and get to work. But know that I'm super, super excited. Can't wait to get on the road. Can't wait to hug my twins. I love you all. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Yay! Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.